Hello everyone, it's the Tall and Short Travelers again. We're coming to you June 21st, 2021 from where? Wright Brothers Memorial Museum. Yep, Wright Brothers National Museum. Memorial. Um, guys, if, if you're in the area, um, Kill Devil's Hill. Uh, come check it out. Uh, we're we're here. We're visiting the Outer Banks and decided to come out and uh, and and check out uh, Wilbur and Orville Wright's uh, trek, I guess. So, uh, real quick, the, there's a lot of walking here, so uh, you're gonna need some tennis shoes. And uh, so make sure you do not wear flip flops like I did. Uh, also, the uh, <laughs> she did too. The national park pass will get you in here. So if you have a national park pass, um, then you'll be good to go. It's a free trip, and uh, I'm gonna hit the button and spin around and 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 show y'all uh, a little bit about the place. So here we go. Bang. Okay, so what you see up there is the actual memorial, uh, the Wright Brothers Memorial. Early on in 1901, 1902, 1903, um, when they first started trying to fly, they were using a glider, and that's where they would start from, is up there on that hill. And they had lots of folks, uh, uh, you know, helping them. They made 75 trips per day up that hill with that glider uh, for four years. So that's a lot of steps. Um, and of course, they uh, buy. I don't remember what you. What year did they get the uh, the first actual first first motorized flight? Uh, I'm going to spin around here. So that's the memorial. 1903. December 1903. So, but anyway, that's, uh, we've, we've posted a lot of pictures on the Tall and Short Travelers Facebook page uh, about today. So whenever you guys uh, get a chance to get there, uh, you can see those videos or actually those uh, pictures. So once they perfected the motorized, uh, or when they thought they perfected the motorized, uh, the, the first successful flight of an airplane basically was actually from this spot right here. And they've got a little plaque here. The first successful flight of an airplane was made from this spot by Orville Wright, December 17th, 1903, in a machine designed and built by Wilbur Wright and Orville Wright. So they made four. Uh, attempts so we're gonna walk down this uh, little path here this is a totally cool place um, you learn so much there's a lot to read uh, and you got to make sure when you come in to stop by the the actual it's right here to our right stop by there and read all the information and everything before you take off to walk the grounds because everything will make a lot more sense to you. So, so here was the end of the first flight, 12 seconds, 120 feet on December 17th, 1903 by Orville. So this was the first one. Okay, and not much farther down the line or number two and three. End of the second flight, about 12 seconds, 175 feet, December 17th, 1903, Pilot Wilbur. And the third. End of the third flight, 15 seconds, about 200 feet, December 17th, 1903, Pilot Orville. So now, I was talking to the short traveler, and we, we're thinking they must have 
they must have perfected something or the wind it must have been a good wind day to aid in the the uh, the motor and the uh, the actual this actual fourth flight we were looking at the plane inside the one they built and uh the actual fabric for the wings was actually woven cotton they said they'd bought the cotton from uh a department store yes standard muslin used for women's and children's clothing that's pretty awesome and the airplane had uh, elevators in the front to help lift it and a rudder in the back to help it go left and right so we're thinking that they must have uh, gotten that in the first three flights they must have learned a lot about how to use those two things in order to get this fourth flight all the way out here. You gotta yeah. know, it was 59 seconds. And it's probably Wilbur's uh, most exciting 59 seconds of his life. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. You know, carrying uh, 75 trips a day up on that Monument Hill there, uh, I mean, you, that had to be ex exhausting. Uh, but, you know, uh, if you go in, inside the, the visitor center and read about their, their parents, uh, their mom was actually uh, the, mechanically the mechanically inclined of the, of the family. Uh, she, she pushed Orville and Wilbur to, uh, to see how things worked. You know, and, and the uh, toy their father brought home to them a wind up kind of helicopter toy was what inspired them for flight. Yeah, it's crazy. They actually, here uh, on, on site, here they actually have a working um, runway so where you can schedule flights and you can actually take off and land here so yeah I think it's unattended yeah it's unattended but you can schedule things uh, and then we make it all the way out here to the very end where end of the fourth flight time 59 seconds Distance, 852 feet, December 17th, 1903, by Wilbur Wright. So, so Orville got the first one, and Wilbur got the longest one. Yep, so they both, you know, I was sitting here thinking, as, as brothers, you know how you guys have got kids, about how they're always so, uh, you know, competitive. competitive. <laughs> but, you know, it, it just seems like it worked out for them, I guess. So... Uh, but this is this is just an amazing place, guys. Um, to be standing right here where uh, Amelia Earhart stood back there at the, uh, um, you know, where they took off from back there. And my wife was talking about how uh, inspirational she is, and or she was, and uh, it would be it was an honor to stand where she stood. So. We're, we're fortunate to be able to be here, fortunate to be able to uh, take part in, in some of the history that's, you know, of aeronautics. And I don't, I, I don't know, I don't know much about airplanes and, and aeronautics, but uh, stuff, stuff is very interesting to me, especially about our history. And, and uh, I mean, guys, I don't know if you can see it up there, but I can See if I can zoom in a little bit. See if it'll clear up. There's a lot of people up there, as you can see. But yeah, all down through here. This side, this shallow side right here, the side that we're looking at right here, that's the shallow side. That's the side that they, that they had to carry the plane up and down because, zoom back out because the other side is so steep uh, they could have never they could have never got it 
got the plane. Well, the, I don't want to call it a plane. It wasn't a plane. It was a glider. Uh, could have never got it. Yeah, and a after climbing that hill, that hill's called uh, Kill Devil Hill. And I told Roger it should be called Buns of Steel Hill because it's tough on the buns to climb it. Yeah, it's like I said, you, you need to have some shoes and, uh, and prepare to do a lot of walking because uh, it's... Uh, But real quick, I want to share with you guys. I know I don't like videos that bounce up and down when when uh, I'm trying to watch it. I get I get sort of sort of sick a little bit. But uh, right here, these two buildings uh, they're actually been restructured. And but one of them was a hangar, and the other one was where they slept. Uh, they had a tent, and they and they realized that wasn't going to work out because here in Outer Banks it's so windy that uh, <laughs> using a tent for a, for a structure to, to sleep in it was not going to not just flat out not going to work so uh, but anyway so uh, quick video uh, I hope you learned a little something um, Take if you, if you're in the Outer Banks, uh, Kill Devil Kill Devil's Hill, um, Kitty Hawk. If you're in the area, make sure you come to the Wright Brothers National uh, uh, Memorial. There you are. We give it a tall and short thumbs up. Yep, a tall and a short thumbs up. So, come visit, guys. I hope you learned something. Please like our video, subscribe to our channel. Uh, this is just for information, just to help people out, just to give people ideas on where to travel. Um, oh, and before just, we leave, I want to shout out to our number one fan, Luke. Hey, buddy, it was good to see you up here. Yep. Hey, Luke. Uh, we've got a we've got a um, a guy that we met at the at the at the at RV park in in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We just happened to see him up here at at the Outer Banks. So, hey, Luke, what's up? And uh, guys. Please keep watching our channel. Please keep watching our videos. And until next time, tall and short travelers, out. we out. <laughs>